Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Logan Lynn. Hi, everybody. you in the dark and gave you my heart traded all of my good for a hookup with dirty dog and some other guys you should have been careful with my love but why did they mean so much i wish i had been harder to give up did you not think twice about making nice with Everyone who wants to fuck Oh, why didn't you know that I was the one, the one Oh, why didn't you know I was the one You left me on my own in a shell of a home With nothing but dog shit and bad luck for a stranger's touch and a mountain of lies that were taller than me when stacked up. And why just to see me cry? Cause you figured I hadn't had enough. I was blind to think you were kind to believe all that you were serving up. Oh, why didn't you know that I was the one? One. Oh, why didn't you know that I was the one? Oh, why didn't you know that I was the one? The one. Oh, why didn't you know that I was the one? Oh, why didn't you know that? I was the one, the one Oh, why didn't you know that I was the one, the one Oh, why didn't you know I was the one Oh, why didn't you know that I was the one I said I was the one I was the one Said I was the one Oh, I was the one Were you go you want me you want me to go you want me but you want me to go you want me you Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Um, so you've been in the music game for a minute. Yes. I saw your merch table. You have many 
generations of work. <laughs> it's real. It's incredible. So how, you know, how has this like career, what have you learned from doing music this whole time, both you as an artist and the scene you've been working in? Sure. Um, well, I think when I started, I was doing this like weird uh, folk techno thing. Like I was a DJ in the Midwest and then moved out here and met people like Zia McCabe from the Dandy Warhols and was hanging out at La Luna back when La uh, Luna was a thing. My um, heart, <laughs> my Portland heart, bless you. Yeah, right, I'm old. Um, and so, you know, it kind of mixed, like my songwriting mixed with this weird raver ecstasy thing I was into at the time. And I think when I started playing, people were like, what is this guy doing? Um, and then in tw 2005, Ben Gibbard and uh, I forget who his collaborator was came out with the Postal Service, and suddenly there was like a cultural <laughs> thing where people were like, "Oh, right, that's what you're doing." Um, and so I started, you know, sort of finding a new audience. Then before it had been just like drug addicts and weird gay people, um, <laughs> and then it expanded. And weird drug addicts, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So you are who you are who your friends are. Um, but but that has morphed over the years. Um, you know, I got signed to a major label and then uh, tried that for a little while. I don't know that I was really made for that either. Um, so we've been on our own, no label, for a while, uh, and it's going really well. Amazing. Yeah. Can yeah. I just, uh, Gino knew the answer to your trivia question and didn't get to say it. The, o the other postal oh, service. Uh, Jimmy Figuring. Oh, great. Just wanted you guys to know that G uh, Gino in knows things. In case he's listening. When did you two start working together? In 2009, you did a remix. When I was si I was working with the Dandy Warhols at the time, and he did a remix. They had said, it was actually for a TV show, like <laughs> some really bad TV show, and they <laughs> said, we want the gayest sounding song. <laughs> and so they came to me <laughs> for whatever reason. It was, I can't, it was real tough. I can't though. imagine why. What, what TV show? Oh, God. Lost. It no was idea. something that we, <laughs> we actually ended up not booking it. Right along, too. Because <laughs> our song was yeah. too gay. Um, <laughs> But but I liked what they did, and so we started working together. Then he w he produced my last record, but not like this. This record that's coming out on the twenty third, uh, we co-wrote. Neither of us could have made these songs without the other, and it um, is a different sort of setup. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. What's yeah. the new record called? Adieu. Adieu. Yes. That's what I've been rocking all day long. Thanks. It really. I was all stressed out, you guys. I had to pick up this desk and put it together. <laughs> and I was listening to Logan's music, and it was really transforming my day. So thank Great. you for that. Happy to help. Uh, thanks. So in addition to being a musician, you um, have worked a lot in mental health. Yes. And you've been an activist with LGBTQ issues. Yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah, I mean, I think that started kind of accidentally. I was, when Logo, MTV started the Logo Network uh, about a decade ago, and they were looking for new talent. And so I was one of the first people that they came to. I hosted a show on there. And it was right what around. What was your show called? New Now Next. Oh, yeah. I, new Now Next is still going. Yes, it is. Get it. Uh, when they got. Uh, Nielsen rated because of RuPaul, they stopped playing as much music, which is kind of the MTV way, but <laughs> for a while there, it was really great. Um, so I was on there, and I, w I got clean in 2008, finally, after a 16-year addiction. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Um, and I'm still still clean. <laughs> Wasn't a passing phase. Um, <laughs> yeah, that would be so I started a weird biography <laughs> note. Right. Yeah, uh -huh. It was just a thing for a minute. Um, <laughs> But I was on TV talking about my music, talking about my life, and it sort of accidentally happened that I you know, started talking about my own gayness in the world um, and started realizing I'm holding this megaphone and every week like 26 million people are listening to what I say. Maybe I want to say something that's not just about how cool I am. Um, or whatever. Um, so I started about how cool and gay you are. <laughs> so <laughs> just the coolest and gayest. Um, that that gets you so far. But I, I realized that I had other things to say. I had my own struggle with mental and behavioral health from you know childhood, and um, my own certain certainly resilience around addiction and recovery. Um, and so I started talking about that. And in 2010, I had a pretty serious mental health breakdown um, that was very public. I sent out a press release that said something about Logan Lynn's career suicide, and it was like a nightmare. I you know I fired my label. These guys were like, "What? We're not going on tour." It was it was rough. Um, and I think there would have been no way to hide what was going on. So at that time, I really owned my shit, for lack of a better word, and um, that has continued. In 2014, I partnered with Trillium Family Services, which is Oregon's largest provider of mental and behavioral health care for children and families. Uh, and Sheila Hamilton and I launched this 
Keep Oregon Well campaign, which uh, is sort of my, my brainchild. We've partnered with tons of people over the last couple of years. I just saw that you're giving away a lot of Kanye West tickets, yeah, too. We've yeah, we've par partnered with Kanye. We're going to fly people around the country with him. Uh, we've, we've partnered with a whole bunch of people. Um, and it's been really cool, I think, for me to feel like I'm not alone, right? Like that all these other people who are public and have a lack of privacy or who are maybe having their own mental health struggles are um, in the boat with me. I just think it's so great for people to see a narrative to fall apart a little bit because that's what happens to humans. Right. Um, so and, and I love that your band kind of acknowledged that and took you back. <laughs> yeah. Gino helped me. So I had a, this whole thing that happened in uh, 2012 is I, I it was all sort of Pomeranian based. I had had this Pomeranian who was my <laughs> very dear friend. I know it's weird, but um, is this the palm on the on it the is the yeah it's and actually and a hot so fried <laughs> Cheeto hot fried. I thought it was a hot <laughs> Cheeto when I first saw it, but it's two Pomeranians. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Is this one of those important things in your life where like a hot Cheeto <laughs> changed your day? I, I had some yeah. yesterday and they were oh really yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> so I um I lost that dog and I had a real hard time with that. I you know he had been with me through my getting clean it's a really funny story I know but um, <laughs> I, I wrote a record accidentally you know I was having this mental health crisis and, and managed to um, say things into my phone in my voice notes there were 500 of those notes some of which were melodic some of which I was just screaming and crying a lot of it was incoherent but but I managed to with this guy's help make arrangements and and put them to song and so this 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 record that's coming out later this month and we actually don't tell my publicist but we have copies of it here that we're gonna <laughs> be giving out later but pre-release um, what you mean this one right hey, here hey that's it that's Make it, it. On the internet so we were <laughs> able to make something you know I think positive out of this struggle and and the idea around the record was to start a conversation to um, let people know that uh, you know, you can have this experience, you can be depressed, you can have persistent suicidal ideation, whatever it is, and you can also be successful. And in that neurodiversity, like, my brain works a little differently, and we were able to harness it into something kind of good, I think. So, yeah, right now, amazing. I'm extremely moved by you, Logan. You're beautiful. Thanks. Um, I am. I am now that I know your story a little bit more. Yeah. I'm seeing um, your cover a little bit differently. Because right. before I was like, oh, it's a cute dog licking. Oh, what a cute popsicle. hot Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, my pets are great too. But right. um, yeah. and love is love, right? <laughs> love I mean, is love. Munchy <laughs> love is real. Um, but that's this is this is a real cover. So check yeah. that out. Even if you don't um, necessarily buy something, I mean, you should buy something. But um, or or you know, support the artist, follow them. Um, we we really appreciate you. Any so your your album drops soon. Yeah. What it's called Adieu. Can we buy it everywhere? Should we buy it online? When do you where do you get the most money? Uh, Bandcamp, my website, loganlinmusic.com. Bandcamp. Yeah, okay. Get the you know, and honestly, it's uh, we have videos out. I think. Uh, what we want is for people to uh, not feel so alone in, in the struggle. So and keep Oregon well. Yeah, keeporegonwell.com. We're always we're everywhere. So. And Trillium Family Services, which is um, you know a great service to Oregon. Totally so. amazing. All right, Logan, we're gonna have you do another song with Gino and the rest great. of the gang. Right. One more time for right. Logan Lynn, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, everybody. We both have things we were supposed to do Honey, you had them too But all I can think about Is how to get you in my room Oh How are you gonna get in my room now? How are you gonna get in Like it a lot Ooh, baby, 
like it that way But all I can think about Is how to keep you in my stay Oh How are you gonna stay in song. This is Gail on keys and Gino on guitar, and that's AC. None of them have last names. I'm Logan Lynn, which matters. This is a little song called Go There When You Want to Be Loved.
Hey there 